I'm James Dyson and today I'm showing you a completely different type of fan. It doesn't have blades. Instead, it has an annular outlet here so that air comes out of this gap that you can just see around here, goes around this little bend here and shoots down this slope. Well, we were developing our air blade hand dryer mm -hmm. where we're using very, very high speed uh, jets of air, 400 mile an hour jets of air, to land on your hands and scrape the water off your hands rather than trying to evaporate the water off your hands or blow the water off your hands. Right. What we discovered there was that this very high speed jet caused a huge amount of air that was surrounding the jet to be drawn into the jet and added to the jet. And we wondered if we could use that. And a fan seemed by far the best way to use it. You know, get, getting rid of the blades is a good thing because you're getting rid of the danger of the blades, you're getting rid of the difficulty of, of, um, of cleaning them, mm -hmm. and you're getting rid of the, the whole issue of chopping the air up and creating that, that discomfort as it comes towards you. If I switch it on, I can infinitely adjust the speed with this dial, and then the oscillator is there, so it oscillates around. So in the, in the winter, you do that, and you can store that inside that. It's very light as well, so you can lift it and carry it very easily. In fact, I can carry several of them at, at once. I can, I can put them all on my arm. I think I could have got about five on there, I think. So I think people would now rather have windows and fans as a means to cool them. Mm -hmm. It's far more environmental. It uses a mere fraction of the electricity. Mm -hmm. And you're not uh, belching HFCs into the, into the environment.